is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, today I am back home again. Um, I just spent a gorgeous week with my best friend and um, it was quite um, an experience because um, she has also met her twin flame. So, um, we were doing, I was doing lots of Reiki for her, and uh, during that, pro if you're listening, then hello, um, and, but through that process, then we experienced past lives together with our twins, and the falling of Atlantis, and we were healers together, and in the temple, which is what I've experienced with, with a few of the people from the channel. So, and it was a real sort of, you know, our soul group come together and we kind of like our little, you know, we, we basically are like um, in the relay race, you know, you hand over the baton and then that person goes and then you get the baton back again. And it's sort of like you, it, we charge each other up, each other's energy and each other's connections. So it was really um very special so um i have just got back and the here the art of love tarot is was on the desk so i was like okay we are learning how to master the art of how to love oneself how to live in the love vibration how to live from the heart and how to follow our intuition. That is essentially what the awakening is doing, right? We're awakening to a heart-based living, to um, awakening to our souls, awakening to uh, this new love vibration that we are anchoring in on this beautiful planet. So with that, I'm going to pull today from the art of love. The art of love, what do we need to do? And look at that, it is the six of stars, which is victory. It is success. And I happen to know that my friend had this in her reading. The six of stars, it was um, the six of, I think she had six of swords, but, but this is victory, right? This is, um, tr this is being able to trust in your path. So the six of stars is this, that we will be victorious in these connections. This is what we're being told, you know, the guidance is telling us. So the message from the six of stars is this. It is, receive success graciously, accept compliments and create from a triumphant platform of your own creation. So it is under a bright blue sky of truth and wisdom, a great day star rises behind an angel of realization and has stars of creation. There have been times when she wondered if her efforts were worthwhile, but through trust and faith in her ability to create, she sees yellow stars of creative success twinkling ahead. Her red flowing dress symbolizes creative movement. That's crazy because I see in one of the healings that I did with my friend, I see a red flowing dress <laughs> and I described it as a flowing kind of like, actually like that. So, um, ugh, it's crazy. Anyway, um, her flowing dress symbolizes creative movement and the white flower she holds close to her heart embody her grace empowerment and love for herself essentially we are all learning how to love ourselves you know and releasing and healing and releasing and healing and releasing and healing and just going on this constant cycle of release and heal and the more we do that the more we we are able to stand strong in our own light the more we stand strong in our own light we're able to listen to our hearts more the more we listen to our hearts the more we just know that that our journey here is to be with our twins and that is just a deep, deep knowing within your soul. So the meaning of the card is this. The six of stars beams with success. Something you have been waiting for is very near. Whether this be a new job, a promotion, or the beginning or completion of a beloved project, you always knew that this would happen because you felt it deep within. You are reaping the benefits of a job well done. Your ideas, projects, and endeavors will be attracting recognition. 
Whatever is happening, it feels good and you can take this as a sign to stay focused and keep on going. You are on the path of your dreams and the six of wands is triumphant, good news, advancement, advancement and shared enthusiasm. So the six, six of stars. <laughs> so I am going to share a letter from my divine love letter books, all channelings between people's twins and their higher selves. And I'm going to share 199 because that was on page 99 and that I want to this is the one that wants to come through so this is book one first one that there is nothing in this whole wide world that I wouldn't give to be in your arms right now that I would pay any amount of money fly any amount of air miles or walk over any mountains to come to you I have been living this non-existent life turned off to who I am turned off to adventure turned off to everything and living a numb life and you you have woken me up my heart is starting to beat in time to the rhythm of my soul our souls our soul song is starting to play loud and wake me up i've been asleep for such a long time i'm sorry but i am on my way keep letting our hearts sing so how perfect, because we always get so many signs and messages in songs. Turn on the radio, ask for a song to give you a message. And, you know, the next one that comes up will be something like, I believe in miracles or whatever it is. But that's just the way that, you know, these beautiful messages come through. And it's like incredible, right, that you can just start to play a game with the universe. And especially with your twin spirit, if you ask, can you you know, can you get ready to play the game with me? Let's give me signs to help us. So, letter 199, book two is that I am your divine goddess. Surely you remember me. Our touch, our feel, our eyes when we look at each other give everything away. The secrets of our souls are lying in the essence of our eyes. The beauty of our connection is timeless. The beauty of us is a return to oneself to our pure, divine, God, goddess essence. Once that fire has been stoked, there isn't any turning back. It will just get brighter and brighter until the flames of passion get so great, you will have no choice but to come back to me. <laughs> so once the fire is stoked, there ain't no turning it back. So last one, book three. Letter 199, so I so desperately want to be able to tell you myself, hold your face in my hands, cup your divinely beautiful chin in my palm and raise it up so our eyes meet and tell you how heavenly that you are, how beautiful your eyes are, how they hit the deepest part of my soul and do something inexplicable to me. I vibrate through every part of my body with love, love for you, Love our life together. Love for what our life will be. Believe that I'm coming back for you, for us, for our beautiful life. Well, believe that I'm coming back for you, basically. Believe that there is, you know, what does the universe, I'm just going to do one more. So we've had success, but I want to know what does the universe want to tell us about specifically what's happening with the energies at the moment for this collective soul group. And the message is the king of hearts. Look at that, the healer, the king of hearts. That is so perfect, isn't it? That basically we are <laughs> healing and the king of hearts is right there, which is, you know, uh, the divine counterpart, <laughs> the king of hearts. So um, let me just share. So the king of hearts graces your world with someone of great compassion. This person is calm, assertive and ready to be in a relationship. They don't need a relationship to be happy and are thus full of love for themselves and for you. They trust and respect that you know yourself best and can make your own decisions. However, they will always be there if you ask for advice or help. This will probably be a romantic relationship. 
However, the card may also indicate that you are growing up and becoming a mature and spiritual being. Well, we are all becoming, you yes. know, spiraling up in our energy with um, our divine counterpart, the intent for us to grow together, to grow in our light together. So that's all we need to do. Keep on asking every single day to be put on our highest and best path, to release all blocks, to walk this earth with grace, beauty and serenity. And the more that we do that every single day, the more we uplift our energies collectively, the more we just moved into that place of deep, deep knowing. All right. I hope that helps. That was just one, four, three on the clock. And that is I love you. So um, I'll be back tomorrow, but in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright and stay switched on to the light and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.